great win for the Pirates, and and uh, we look forward to diving right now in the uh, in the F- in the FAU. We started exposing our team to FAU during the fall camp. One to break up monotony. You can start on one team too long, and it'll become stale to the team. So I thought we did a good job of spacing ODU, going to FAU, and then coming back to ODU during fall camp. Um, so we know we'll face another team that they spread the football. Uh, Carl and I have done battle versus one another in the Big 12 when he was at Nebraska, and uh, along with his brother Bo, uh, always uh, good coaches. That whole Youngstown Ohio crew, uh, really good football coaches with those, and Bob and and uh, Mark and all the guys, and Mike Stoops, those guys are really good football coaches. But Carl and I have known each other a long time, and we've done, done had some, some good challenges together versus one another. But... Uh, offensively, they rotated three guys in, at quarterback the other night. I think they'll get down to, got down to about two right now. Uh, uh, Jock West Jackson, uh, the bigger kid, 6'2", 210. Uh, got a lot, of, a lot of time, lively arm, mobile, can run, good size. And they also rotated Greg Hankerson, a freshman, who he won't, both those guys are similar. Hankerson's not as big, uh, but quickness, throws the football well, led the team well. They'll be a team that has design runs for the quarterback, similar to what uh, we face with ODU, but they have design run plays. Uh, we got to make sure we do a good job of containing them. They have great speed and athleticism at the wide out and skill positions. Uh, up front, just watch them this morning again. Watch them yesterday. Watch them last year against some teams. And this morning I finished watching, watching the Miami game. Um, and Miami did a good job. They have a lot of good athletes as well. But I thought uh, FAU matched up. Uh, with athleticism versus Miami as well as anything. So we don't have to be aware of that speed up front. Um, Jonathan Wallace is their starting tailback. Really good size, 6'1", 6'2", 210. Good speed, downhill runner. Uh, does a good job of, uh, um, of running between the tackles, but also has a speed and a athleticism to split out and give them five wides and use them in pass uh, receives like we do Tay and those guys. Up front, DeAndre Williams and Mustafa Johnson have the most starts of the offensive lineman. Uh, there's a center and a left tackle. Those guys do a good job up front. we got to make sure we, we do a great job up front defensively, making sure we uh, maintain and have good, maintain and have good, great gap integrity on run and in, on pass left rush lanes. So uh, they'll spread the football. They also work from some compact uh, offensive formations uh, where they can run the football and have, those, like I mentioned before, design quarterback run ideas. But you'll see that from them. Defensively, um, where I think calls – Call's always been involved. There'll be a, a multiple defense based on our, most of the time of a four-man front, but similar to what they've done before, uh, some man on the back side. They like, like to man up, mixed with zone on the back end. Um, they got seven, restart, seven returning starters from last year's team. Um, DeJon Smith, Keith Reasoner, who's one of the returners at the defensive back, and Andre Kirk are really good football players. Uh, so we got to make sure offensively we keep improving on our strengths and weaknesses, making sure we do a good job of executing. Uh, they have a lot of speed. A lot of the Florida kids are integrated on that team, and, and which means speed and uh, athleticism, and, and uh, they're well coached. And So uh, FAU has their share of them. So looking forward to that. I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, our kids, what excites me, and you know I always mention this, are our kids. Our kids were excited about it, you know, uh, the coaches were. We held it from them. Uh, you know, they didn't know anything about it. They had the same room as everybody else had, but they didn't know until last night or, you know, had inkings of thoughts, but they, never, they didn't know why. So I'm excited because the kids were excited. And I'm excited because of, uh, um, you know, the, the recruits and everybody else involved, uh, the ones that have committed to, committed to us, which I, can't, which I can't mention. You should have heard after we got through, they, they were calling my phone. phone was blowing up. We only get one call right now, but they can call us anytime. It was exciting, you know. And this morning, I mean, the same way, I'm in the office, and I know Coach came up this morning. Coach Comp came up, and I'm getting hey, Coach. It's Labor Day, so Coach, can you talk to this guy, this guy? So for the kids and recruitment, it, it's awesome. And I'm excited about it as a coach, you know. Uh, there's a couple of things. One, and we told the team last night, you know, one, is this is not a one-time wonder. Uh, it's not a one night wonder. Now the combination is still that we still have white on white, purple on purple, purple on white. We still that's still part of our mix. Everybody understand that. But and but we're able to now have some different match, some match combinations. Uh, when I can remember when we talked about earlier with Coach and, and Nick and Lee and all of us got together, 
and we all talked about it. There's combinations of this thing. So there'll be combinations so we can blend. And, but the purple and purple and the white and purple, none of that's gone. We'll just be able to blend it a little bit more now. Last thing I told our kids last night, the uniforms are fantastic. I love them. And the excitement is great. But make sure everybody, in, uh, from, from start from them first, is what's inside that uniform. The person that puts the uniform on is more important. And I love the uniform, but making sure the kids understand that how we practice, how we prepare. And when our fans are cheering, they're cheering for that pirate that's inside there, that player that's inside that uniform, that kid that's inside that uniform. And uh, when I, once we, they, they were excited when Justin came in to present it to him, and uh, Coach Crawford needs to get a, a nomination for Oscar Award last night because he had everyone food. When he came in and, and the kids saw that, I think you saw the reaction from that, that was – they thought Justin Hart was in trouble. <laughs> and Shane was, like, panicking. He was, like, worried, look, and I'm doing this. And when Coach Comfort Brown had spilled the deal, Shane ran past me, hugged him, made sure, thank God, that Justin was not out of the game this week. But Justin, he doesn't do anything wrong anyway, so they kept wanting But um, excited about it. Uh, also, remind the kids what's inside the uniform is most important, how we practice, prepare, and focus. And when we cheer, which the greatest fans second to none are, 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 are our fans, Pirate Nation. They're cheering for that guy inside the uniform, but they'll love the outside too. It's going to be nice and it's classy look, and uh, uh, I'm excited.